I'm Kristen. Nice to meet you. Now, you may recognize me because either you recognize me from the Key of Awesome, or we're friends, or we're related. Hi, Mom. I decided to make this video to tell you what my journey with the YouTube machine has been. So, I think to accurately tell my story, we must start at the very beginning. Alright, not that far back. Uh, let's start in 2005. 2005 is when YouTube was invented. Now, I was not immediately aware that YouTube existed. Uh, in 2005, I was in high school committing horrendous crimes of fashion. Yes, I actually wore this outfit to school. No, I don't know how I had friends. I don't remember the first time I ever watched a YouTube video, but I do remember the first channel I ever got addicted to. I was at my friend's house, we were discussing how much I didn't like Twilight, and she showed me a video by this guy, Michael Buckley, from the What the Buck show. And he was saying basically the same thing I was saying about Twilight, except he was a lot funnier. Fast forward a few months, and I created my own channel because I wanted to post some video projects I'd been working on in high school. But I never created my own videos for YouTube's sake. That wouldn't happen until Michael Buckley, the only YouTuber I watched, created a video that changed my life. He made a video called Getting to Know You, and he told us a little bit about himself, and it invited his viewers to create video responses in return. And that was my first YouTube video that I created. So after that, I was bit by the YouTube bug. I went to college, and my roommate was also really into YouTube, and we, we created our own videos. I mean, we never got popular or anything, but we had fun. Now that I was in the YouTube sphere, I started watching other YouTubers. I watched Shane Dawson, and I, I watched this channel that my friend Alyssa showed me called The Key of Awesome. Fast forward to this past summer. The YouTube thing had kind of died out for me. I was busy with work, with school, with having a life, and if by having a life you mean that I was reading the Harry Potter books again for the umpteenth time, then yes, I was having a life. This past summer, I saw a casting notice for the role of Hermione in a, a music parody for this group called The Key of Awesome. Well, I obviously knew exactly who they were, so I immediately submitted myself and basically like begged for the role. And then I remember sitting in the break room at work, I used to work at Trader Joe's, best grocery store ever, by the way, and there was an email from Anastasia Douglas from The Key of Awesome saying, you got the role. I laughed, I cried, I probably called everyone in my contacts list on my phone screaming incoherently. Not really, I didn't, I didn't really do those things. And next thing you know, there I was. I was working with the key of awesome. It reawoke in me this passion for YouTube that I'd forgotten about. And six months later, here I am. I feel like the luckiest person in the world to be able to do what I do and work with the people I work with and oh, I love my life! So that's my YouTube journey. And that brings us to the crux of the matter. I've decided to start my own channel from scratch. Don't get me wrong, I'm still working at the Key of Awesome, but I've been inspired by all the work I see them do, and I'd like to think that I'm a bit more older and wiser to the ways of the digital world now. So what is Kristen's reality going to be? That's partially up to you to decide. What do you want to see here? Should I be doing more vlogging? Should I be doing more skits? Sky's the limit. You guys tell me what you want to see. Leave a comment giving me ideas or telling me about your YouTube journey. Has YouTube changed your life for the better, for the worse? Let me know. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Stay awesome. Even from a young age, I knew I was destined to work with Ducky of Awesome. Get it? It's like the Key of Awesome, but it sounds like Ducky, so it yeah, never mind.